This is a daughter video to last week's successful resurrection of the Super Nintendo console. Pretty much any cartridge game from this era that allows save games without a password prompt contains a battery as a power source to retain that information. Using a security bit, remove the two screws. On the PCB, note the polarity of the battery, with the top being the positive end. On all the boards I've worked on, the positive end links to the inner side while the negative end is toward the outer side of the board. It may even be a good idea to write in a marker on the PCB which is positive and negative as a reminder. Using a soldering iron, remove the old battery. Now you can check this before removal but I want to show you the difference between an old and a new battery. These run at 3 volts so turn on your multimeter to DC volts and measure. As you can see the old one only puts out 2.9 volts, while the new one runs at 3.3 volts. A solder sucker and braided wick can be used to clean the old solder. I'd like to extend a heartfelt thank you to all you guys for watching as we hit 100 subs which was a personal goal of mine this year. Let's solder in the new one. Thanks again and see you next time.